Hi, my name is Brittany Barba, and I graduated from Mesa High in 2010, and now I am a news producer at ABC 15 Arizona. Good morning, everybody. Five o'clock on ABC 15 Mornings. I'm Dan Spindle. She's Danielle Lerner, the whole crew working hard uh, to get you everything you need to get out the door today. Every morning, thousands of people across the state get to turn on their TV, and my responsibility is to inform them of the news of the day. Our top stories, if you are just waking up with us here at 5 o'clock, is the drinking water at your child's school safe? It's super exciting and it's something that I love and Mesa High was actually a huge role in me finding my path. Um, when I was a junior, I started doing MPS happenings because one of my teachers suggested it. And so I worked with Mesa Public Schools television for two years. And then after I graduated from Mesa High, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So they suggested I pursue journalism and all of these years later, here we are. And now some of my friends from work wanted to share some positive messages for you guys. You might recognize some of their faces. Hi kids, I'm Allison Rodriguez. I'm Justin Pizera. And I'm Chelsea Davis. And we are, uh, as you can tell, employees here at ABC 15. You might recognize some of us uh, from the morning newscasts or our day side parts as well sometimes. Depends. She's on um, a billboard. Oh my gosh, stop <laughs> it. She is on a billboard. She is. Chase your dreams. That's one of the messages here. So true. Speaking of which, yeah, you want to get into kind of some of our advice for you guys. Sure. So I'll kick it off. There are so many different things that I want to say to the students, but in general, something that I found to be really important in high school was getting involved because the more that you become a leader, you take those skills into life and you'll be a leader in life and that really helps you no matter where you end up going and it helps you stay positive and motivated to chase your dreams not only for yourself but for everybody who you're leading so that makes you a good person well-rounded so be a leader I like that Great advice, yeah that is really Thank good you. I would say for myself um, never say or never take no for an answer when it comes to your career because I had so many people tell me no uh, getting into this business. It's a, what we do, it is an extremely tough business. It's very competitive, uh, but people would say no and I would just keep at it and just keep going and finally I got that one yes. It only takes one yes and then it mm -hmm. took off from there. I love that. That's great advice and I would say that for me, uh, what I would tell you guys is it's okay to be a little bit confused about maybe your career path because there are a lot of different things, I think, sides to us, yeah. things that we all like to do and sometimes it's a little bit hard to narrow down and it could seem like a big decision in your career. But I think uh, as you keep moving down that path and making sure that you're doing the best that you can, like Chelsea was saying, being a leader, not taking no in the things that you really know that you're good at and that you want to do, uh, I think all of that is going to lead you down the right thing. You might not know it now, and it might become a little bit clearer later, but as long as you keep you know, marching down that path and doing the best that you can do, hard work really does pay off. I think all of that is going to become very clear. Yeah, it took me six years to get through college because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. I wanted to be in music, and then I was like, no, let's do television, and six years, but... And now you're where you're meant to be. now I'm where I'm meant to be. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And it's only an extra 1% that helps you surpass somebody's expectations. It's true. So just always go at it and know that we all believe in you. <laughs> You're going to do great things. There you go. Awesome. Hi Mesa High School, I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo, the meteorologist on ABC 15 Mornings. I heard you guys had a rockin' year and you got some pretty stellar grades. So I wanna give you a big shout out and a big congratulations for having a great year. And I wanna encourage you to continue working hard and studying hard as well. My little piece of advice is of course, work hard, study hard, focus on your future, but also have fun while you're doing it. Try different experiences, travel if you can. Maybe you're going to college next year, study abroad. Just enjoy it while you can, but make sure that you're also focused. And along the same lines of trying things, if you don't know what you wanna do for a living just yet, that's okay. Try a bunch of different career options. Go shadow somebody. Just explore it all so you can narrow it down and have plenty of fun experiences along the way as well. Congratulations again. Keep working hard. We're all rooting for you, and I am sure you're going to have a rockin' future ahead. Yeah. Mesa High is great, um, and I feel like it really did help me establish a strong foundation in my academics. I worked hard when I went there, and I got into ASU, and I was super excited, and all of it just kind of went from there.